For this video, we're going to look at the explore for unit seven, day 21, what are perfect squares? We're going to really be asking ourselves throughout this le lesson, how do perfect squares make some quadratic equations easier to solve? So you should have completed the launch already and you should have completed the explore already. And you should have explored a bit about how Han and Jada each solved their equations and how their methods are similar and different as well as which method you prefer. Together, we will solve an equation using Han's method and we will solve it using Jada's method. And this will help us to further see how to solve equations, quadratic equations using these different methods, as well as for us to further identify which strategy we prefer and why. So let's look at this first one, y minus five to the second power equals 49. I'm going to share my whiteboard with you. Okay, make it nice and big so we have the space. Okay. Oops. Okay. So let me write this on here. So I'm going to divide it up in half so we can um, look at the two methods side by side. And let's do. And so if we just look quickly over here um, at the original equation, Hans method is the method we're more familiar with by finding the zeros and using the zero product property and zeros, Jade is using this idea of um, perfect squares. So let's start with Hans method, which is the method we might be a bit more familiar with. Okay, so let's rewrite this. If it's y minus 5 to the second power, we know that's really just y minus 5 times y minus 5 equals 49. We can go ahead and use the distributive property to multiply this expression right here and rewrite it from factored form to standard form. y times y is y to the second power. N y times negative 5 is negative 5y. Negative 5 times y is negative 5y, and negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25, and that equals 49. Now I'm going to combine like terms here. y to the second power minus 10y plus 25 equals 49. I'm going to move the 49 over here because I want this to equal zero so I can use the zero product property. So I'm just going to use the subtraction property of equality. You know, let's use a different color so it's clear. I'm just gonna use subtraction property of equality to subtract 49 from both sides. And then we will get y to the second power minus 10y and then 25 minus 49, because we're combining like terms, which is going to be minus 24 equals zero. Now we can solve this the way we normally have been. We're gonna ask ourselves, what are two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add up to negative 10? Well, what I'm thinking is first, I'm like six and four add up to 10, but negative six times negative four is positive 24, so that's not gonna work. What about 12 and two? So I'm going to do y minus 12, y plus two equals zero. Think about it, why did I choose a negative 12 and not a positive 12? I know negative 12 times positive two is negative 24, but I could have done positive 12 and negative two and still gotten negative 24. Why did I choose to make the 12 negative? And it's because I need to have this 
b term be a negative, and negative 12 plus positive 2 is going to give me a negative 10. That has the bigger absolute value. So now I'm going to use the zero product property and know that um, the zero product property says that any number multiplied by zero will give me zero. So I know that this has to be zero or y plus 2 has to be zero for this to be true. So I know y equals 12 or y equals negative 2. Right, 12 minus 12 is 0, negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. So that's my final answer. It's always nice to box your final answer, especially when you have a lot of steps. Okay. Let me redo that just so we can see that too really quickly. Negative 2 really quickly. Okay. So now the other way to solve this is using perfect squares. I know that to undo a square number, right? If I had five squared and I wanted to, and um, that equals 25, to undo that square, I square root that and I could square root that. Squares cancel out square roots. So, oops. So, that being said, I can undo, oops this square by using the square root symbol. The square root of y minus 5 to the second power is just y minus 5. Now here's the really important part. What is the square root of 49? There's two answers. 49 has two square roots. 7 times 7 is 49, and what is the other pair of same numbers that multiply to 49? Negative 7 times negative 7. So I can say to myself, okay, y minus 5 equals 7, or y minus 5 equals, let's see. Now I'm going to solve this, right? And I know this is true because 7, negative 7 times 7, negative 7 also equals 49 as well as 7 times 7. So that's the one important part is when you find the square root of that number, you're finding two answers, right? We have two equations here. We have two equations here to solve. We have always have, not always, we sometimes have two answers when we solve quadratics. Sometimes we have none, no answers, and sometimes we have one answer. So it's always important to check for two answers. So we can have two zeros. The graph can intersect the x-axis at two points. Okay, so then in this case, if we add 5 to both sides, y equals 12, which is the same answer we got here. If we add 5 to both sides, y equals negative 2. So our answer is y equals 12 or y equals negative 2. The only time you can use this strategy is when this is a perfect square and you can cancel out that perfect square with a square root. So now you can ask yourself, which strategy do you prefer here? Which one makes more sense to you? Which one would you use if you were approached with a, solving a perfect square quadratic equation? For the next few problems, you can go ahead and try the strategy you prefer or go ahead and challenge yourself to try the other one to see if after you use the other strategy a couple times, um, if you begin to um, prefer that one instead. So in summary, when you have a perfect square trinomial and you are trying to solve it, there are two different strategies you can use. You can use the zero products property or you can square root both sides and find the solution map.